Let's go, let's go, let's go. Welcome to Chalk Talk with your host, me, JB. I'm back here with Craig Vernon Hunter, the Jefferson High Cougars coach. How you doing? I'm all right. How you doing tonight? I'm doing great, uh, as best as I can. Because I just want to jump right into it. What's the secret to your success on this uh, on this recent stretch of, of wins that you guys have been stringing together going into this playoff push? Uh, I think the kids are really coming together as a team. Um, they're getting after it. Um, understanding how to actually gel together and they're, we're playing together as a team better. And I think that's the, that's the secret of what's going on with, to our success. All right. I am a Jefferson high alum. So this question I'm going to ask, not a lot of people know, but to you, will you guys have the hammer, the <laughs> ax, the ax? Will you have the ax this weekend? No, we don't have the ax. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, but what is it like going up against small? I mean, you know, they have the great tradition and they don't have the best record as, as they've had in the years past, but, you know, it's still going to be a competitive game. How does it feel going up against them? You know, they have their hammer, the tradition, and the, the traditional Marsburg uh, Musman game. I mean, Jeremy uh, Musman game, I'm sorry. I mean, you know, Musman has always been, you know, a team that's going to be physical, uh, scrappy. Uh, they're going to be well, well coached. So, you know, you're going to, they're going to be disciplined to do what they're supposed to do. So that's what you're looking at. A team that's going to be scrappy, very physical, and they're going to get after it for four quarters. So, I mean, that's what we got to, we got to prepare for. So we got to match their physicality and their intensity for four quarters. It is an impact game. Um, and like I said, you guys are stringing along wins. Mossman doesn't have the traditional Mossman record. What is the message to the kids to stay focused and prepare for this week like it was just another week going up against a, a, a great opponent such as like a Martinsburg, a Spring Mills, um, a Spring Valley, Springs that you played? What was your message to them this week? I mean, it's just the same message every week. You know, you take one game at a time, one opponent at a time, can't overlook anybody. You look, you overlook somebody, you put yourself and you get yourself a slow start, you put yourself in the game. Put yourself in the game and give a team that that you give some teams momentum and you could be in trouble. I mean, this is a this is a this is a team that's that's scrapping and, and fighting for everything they get. In the last couple of weeks, they've also played good games. I mean, they played a good game against Capital Midland. They got their win against um against uh, Hedgesville. They played earlier in the year. They played well against uh, Loudon Valley. So they I mean they played well games. So I mean, if 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 we if we don't play our type of football and we don't take care of business, you know, it, it, you never know what's going to happen. That's why you play the game, you, you know, play to win the game. Yeah. <laughs> so coach, um, now that you know who your team is now, give me one word to describe your team. Uh, I would say, I would say right now, gritty. I mean, they, they, they're, they're pretty gritty. Um, they stick with it. Um, they don't, they don't, they don't bow down too much. They fight and stay after, you know. Um, so I, I would say gritty. You know, last week when we talked and we talked about your special teams because the week before you had such a big week. And as an old offensive coordinator, I hate the cliche defense wins ball games because you have to score more points than another team to win a game. So let's just be honest. What can we expect out of your offense um, that is going to be key into the success Friday night? Um. I would say you as an offensive coordinator uh, understand this and you know this. I'm going to say the key to our offense tomorrow night is going to be take the candy. Oh, take what they give you. Yeah. And, and that's huge. And when you say that, how well has your quarterback approved over the season to know that he's ready just to take the candy, stay ahead of the change, and keep you guys moving in the right direction? I, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you something that shocked me last week that I saw him do that I've, I haven't seen him do all season and, and maybe in the last two years. I seen I saw him throw a drive. Well, why do you want to throw a drive? You know, it's right. I get it. I, I'm on his side, but hey, it's good that he's doing that. So I mean, he, 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 he stayed patient in the pocket. He threw a drive. He threw a drive. So so I don't know if, any, I don't know if anybody else is going to watch this, going to know about that, but you and I know what a, what a drive is. You get the first down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, actually, actually turn into a 19 yard play. Take the candy. Take the candy. <laughs> hey, but you know, that is the key to success. And right before we leave, just because we talked defense and especially last time, let's just talk about your running back, how explosive he can be and how much of an impact he can be, can be Friday and continue on through the rest of the postseason run. Oh, yeah, like we talked before, you know, going into these cold weather, going to the cold weather, going to the playoffs, it's going to be very important that you take, be able to take a carry a running game with you. And he allows us to be able to carry a running game with us. You know, I think a little, a little early in the season, you know, we were still figuring out 
our old line was, you know, kind of slowed him down a little bit. But once we got it figured out and they're understanding, they're still growing and gelling. We got two sophomores on the old line. Uh, so they're growing and gelling. They're getting better each week. You know, his his stats are going up each week. And, you know, we just we just take what the defense gives us. So the defense gives us a box that's favorable to run it. We're going to run it. The defense gives us a box that's going to be heavy loaded. Tells us to throw the ball. We're going to throw the ball. Well, Coach, I wish you the best of luck this week. And I want to remind you that you run the ball every time you catch it. Just always remember that. And you know what I say? You, uh, We want our kids to succeed both on and off the field. Best of luck. Stay healthy and continue your run at the end of the season. All right. Thank you.